So, this is the spot. Yeah. Or at they least do this reunion every year. Equally as bad. And apparently Kyoya Satomoto shows up to everyone. All the surviving founders of Crimson Lotus are probably in here somewhere. I gotta go find Mikiko. Before she does something she can never take back. Receptionist. Guess you gotta have connections to get in. What's the plan, Kaito? I'm gonna roll the way a detective rolls. Meaning? By sneaking in with a disguise. You? Disguised as what? You're still gonna look older than anyone here. Cleaning guy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mull that one over. So I gotta pay real close attention to the guests and see if I can find a way to sneak into the venue. Maybe I can find a disguise or something. Find a disguise? Or put one on that I already have. What's happening over here? I'm keeping watch in case Mikiko-san arrives. Gotcha. I guess there is a chance she'd pass by. Let me know if you need a hand, Kaito. Boss said I ought to help. Okay. Might take you up on that. Kaito, if you need a hand from Senda, just ask. He'll do anything for Mikiko-san, I'm sure of it. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Can we just change right here out in the open? gonna work run cleaning duty janitorial services i could pass off as maintenance with this outfit and sneak in worth a shot hey, what just a second there sorry but who are you damn got stopped right off the bat better come up with something hi i'm with yagami electronics I got a call saying the Banquet Hall's AC is on the fritz. I'd like to pop in and take a look for myself. That all right? I didn't hear about any repairs. Either way, that's not gonna happen right now. The party will start any minute. Ugh, shouldn't push my yeah. luck. I'll see if the repairs can wait till later then. Well, that was a waste of time, actually. Wait. The waiter just came out of the banquet hall. Guess employees are free to walk in and out. Maybe I can get it. Maybe I can get in if my hands on if I get my hands on a waiter's uniform. If that's the plan, then I'm need to gather some info and find a way to get a waiter's uniform. Oh, here we go. What have we here? <laughs> we go sniffing around the restrooms. Hmm. No smelling and no no listening. Oh, here we go. Oh no, my prized possession. I'm getting close. I drop it when I sat down earlier. Oh no, my prized possession. I drop it when I sat down earlier. Oh, and to think I spent all that money on it. Ah, oh well. Party's about to start. Whoever finds it can just keep it. Sounds like that guy dropped something. Maybe by a chair. This right here. What have we here? This must be what that guy dropped. He said finders keepers, so I'll just hold on to this. 
Divine water? Oh, huh. wow, thanks. That's great. Is this it? A lot of young guys here. At least I look younger than I am, right? Nah, who am I kidding? I just need to accept reality. <laughs> what have we here? Hey, where's the new guy? Hmm, probably in the smoking area. I saw him heading down there a minute ago. Uh, really? He steps out for a cigarette when the party's about to start? Go get him, will ya? No way. That guy freaks me out, man. He looks like an ex-thug who can't seem to reintegrate into society. Besides, I, I don't have the key to the smoking area. You do it. <laughs> Hell no. He freaks me out too. I'm not equipped to deal with his type. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, he's a responsible adult. I'm sure he'll come back once the party starts. Yeah. No need to bust our butts just to check on him. There's a waiter slacking off in the smoking area past here, huh? This might be my chance. Better check it out. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We are doing this shit. <gasps> Hi, Doc. How you doing? You're just in time. We're trying to sneak into this very exclusive reunion so we can stop our ex-girlfriend from murdering everybody, including her husband, who ended up killing her family And she, she found that out after she married him. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Where's the smoking area? Is this it? Smoking area is through here, but it's locked. Must be some way to open it. Hmm. Well, we need the key. They mentioned a key. Hmm. This right here. I smell food too, but I can't tell exactly what it is. Oh, another fresh lettuce sandwich. Good, because mm. I ate most of mine. Huh? I hear people cooking. Kitchen must be back there. They haven't found is out yet. this it? Oh, shit. I dropped the key to the back door. The smoking area? Dude, if they find out, they're gonna be pissed. Well, they haven't found out yet. Oh, man. What am I gonna do? Okay, okay, I'll help you find it. You have any idea where you might have dropped it at least? Uh, the first floor bathroom, I think? Or, uh, was it the second floor? Actually, it could have been the third. How many bathrooms did you okay. go in? Okay, so it's in one of the bathrooms. Where's it coming from? Oh, the bathroom was this way, huh? Quiet now. Huh? This right here. Looks like it's closed off for cleaning. Yeah, but... Oh. Is this it? Oh, what's that on the ground? A key. This must be the key that waiter was talking about. Now let's see if it'll get me into the smoking area. I was gonna say, just because there's a freaking little sign there doesn't mean we can't just step over and go inside let's see this right here Let's try the key. Hell yeah, it opened. Time to meet our slacking waiter friend.
Wait a minute. That waiter. Uh. That waiter? Man, I am beat. Last thing I want to do is serve people. And it's been nothing but punk kids all day. This guy? And they've all got some crap attitudes. What was his name again? Is it, is it, is it that guy? Crowd's getting under his skin so bad he doesn't even want to work. Could try to persuade him to fork over his clothes. Hey, you. You got a sec? Huh? Aren't you... Whoa. That you, Tashiro Kun? Yeah, yeah, him. Kaito, we stole his clothes the before. Why the hell are you away? Now we're gonna steal him again? It's that bastard Yagami's fault. Talk? What are you talking about? For the past few years, I was a producer doing events for a solid company, and I was totally killing it. Thanks to Yagami coming around, the company heard about my fuck ups and fired me. Well, I don't know all the details, but. If you got out, it sounds like you got what you deserve, don't it? Shut up! This all started from you guys! The moment you ripped my favorite clothes off my body, my luck went straight down the shitter! Yeah, I love how this that. keeps coming back. <laughs> that note, mind if I borrow those clothes for a bit? What? What the hell? You got some <laughs> balls asking me that! I need it for reasons. Come on, I'm not gonna keep it forever. Fuck that! Why don't you just strip down yourself? Huh? Why would I do that? Because I want you to feel the same humiliation I did. Now, if you're not gonna strip, I'll make you strip, dickhead! Whoa, hey, knock it off. I already said I was sorry, didn't I? Shut it! Do you even know how it feels to get your ass kicked and tossed out into the freezing December cold, butt naked? I won't rest until I strip you down to your bare junk. Ugh. Better be ready. Oh shit! Fine, have it your way. An ass whooping it is. Oh, this poor guy. Come on. Poor Tashiro. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fair. Yeah, I'll let you get one hit in. It was a good one, too. But playtime's over. Here we are again. Alright, time to dress up and sneak in. <laughs> oh. Some things just never change, do they? There's that blue haired guy. I think those guys are some of the founders. Where's Mikiko and Kyoya Saramoto? Both are probably staying on the down low. Sorry to bother you, but do you have a moment? Have you seen this woman? Um, uh, who's she? Uh, well, uh, she's a former member of Rizo. Anyone here know her? She's not from our year, is she? Nope, never seen her before. Why don't you ask your co-worker? He's been standing over there the whole time. Maybe he saw her. <sighs> Much obliged. Even if Mikiko's here, she's probably doing whatever she can to blend in. 
Gonna be tough to spot her. Hey, you got a sec? I'm trying to find a guest. Who might that be? This person here. Hmm. I might have seen her, but then again... This is a real important guest. Put some brain power into it, will ya? Well, now that I think back... The woman who looked like her was in that seat there. Okay, and where'd she go after that? I'm not sure. All right. Is that Jameson Price again? I could try asking that lady there. Excuse me. Mind if I have a word? I'm looking for someone. Ugh. Uh, ma'am? Hey, can't you see this is a bad time? I'm catching up with an old friend here. I'm awfully sorry, but it's about a very important guest. Oh, an important guest, you say? As in one of the Rhizome founders? Because if that's the case, I'd love to meet them. Oh, no, they aren't. Ah, well then can you go away now? Damn. If you please, it's just... Well, so much for that. So much for catching up with an old friend. I'll just have myself a chat with the friend she bailed on. Hmm. You're talking about this girl right here, Soul Blazer? The one uh, that we were tailing? Looks like it could be her. Sorry to bother you, but uh, have you seen this woman? Oh, her? Um, I think she was here earlier. Are you sure? Where is she now? Hang on, maybe I'm not remembering correctly. She didn't talk to anyone and left her seat pretty quickly. Would that have been Mikiko? Maybe she keeps switching seats so she doesn't stand out. Got it. How about a man named Kyoya Sadamoto? Sadamoto-san? <laughs> the living legend. Yeah, he's so dreamy. Oh, I always wanted to meet him. But he said he had an emergency and couldn't make it. He can't make it? You're positive? Yes. Apparently he has a meeting he simply can't miss. His schedule is always packed every single day. But I suppose that's just how it is. If Kyoya Sadamoto isn't here, then that means Mikiko can't go through with her plan. Couldn't spot Mikiko anywhere in the venue and Sadamoto cancelled. Which means Mikiko isn't even here, is she? What do you mean I can't get in? Uh, it's just that Amina Masuda-sama has already checked in. And I keep telling you, I'm Amina Masuda! How could I have already checked myself in? Did someone check in using her name? Wait a sec. Yep, must be Mikiko. Something the matter, ma'am? Well... I literally just got here, but this bonehead of a receptionist says I'm already checked in! So, Masada-san is already inside the venue. Y you sure there's no mistake? Yes, I even checked the list. This woman, the one who said she was Masada, is this her? Oh, yes, that's the one. She was gorgeous. I knew it. Where did she go? Well, she entered the venue. Oh, but just after that, she came out and made her way to the restrooms. The restrooms, huh? Makes sense. She wouldn't want to go after Crimson Lotus out in the open. Maybe she'll pick them off when they're alone in the restroom. Could have spiked their drinks with diuretics. Thank you. What about you?
actually going to be on the ceiling. Ryan... Whatever style. Was hey. Ryan the ninja. No. Uh, oh. Uh. Are you still with me? What happened? Oh, some woman came in out of nowhere and attacked me. And was that woman Mikiko Sadamoto? It, yeah, that's right. But how? Who are you? Where'd she go? She... She was looking for Kyoya-san. Kyoya Sadamoto? But I heard he couldn't make it. No. He was scheduled to appear as a surprise guest. He was in the green room earlier, but he went up to the roof for a smoke. And then Mikiko went up to the roof too? Yeah. Damn, he's uh, high tailing it out of there. Hauling ass. Okay, I can head up top from there. Hey! Uh, may I help you? I'm very sorry, but there's an urgent issue I must attend to. Don't play dumb with me, Kaito. Uh... I know a rat when I see one. Why are you here? Well, I guess I gotta force my way through. I kind of like that getup. So I ain't pulling punches. Come on, boys. Let's get him. your hair a bit. Not anymore. Hey, Kaito, need a hand? Let's clean him up quick. Appreciate it, fellas. Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll kill you! What? So, did you figure out where Mikiko-san is? Yeah. Looks like she chased Saramoto to the roof. We can't afford to get caught by them again. Let's climb up here. Looks like I can't save. I hope there will be a good stopping point at some point. Oh shit! 
Wait, aren't you? Damn it. We can't let him call for backup. We have to take him out, quick. Here we go. Ow. More thugs to get past. Hey, they've got to be around here somewhere. Find them. Huh? Guess we're already Jincho's most wanted. Damn, how many of these guys are there? It's a lot of guys. <laughs> could help that'd be great though there should be a guest elevator somewhere around here we can take that all the way to the top Going this way? I don't remember. Oh. I'm full on tuna and egg sandwiches. Let me eat one. And I picked up. Attack and defense booster too. Attack plus seven, de defense plus seven percent. Ooh. Uh. Ichiban fried rice crackers. What bento was this? Bento lunch set. Bento lunch set. Top off our. Uh, Help there. Sushi set. Oh, okay, well. Somebody else can eat that. I'll save it for somebody later. Somebody who's hungry. Perfect. 
We can take this guy all the way to the top. There they are! Found them! Uh... God damn, they're still coming! Hey, Kaito! You go take care of Mikiko-san. Just leave these guys to us. We got this. Huh. You better, tough guy. We can take this many of them ourselves. I owe you one. Thanks. Uh, isn't this a little more than we can handle? Pipe down. Now let's do this! <laughs> Dark. Did Igarashi and Senda kill the power? That helps a ton. Not like security is lightened up at all, though. And he's got a gun. Can't let them pick me off from a distance. Gotta watch my ass. Careful now. No! I had a feeling that was gonna happen. well just to be safe sleep tight sleepy time Music for these sections, at least. Perfect. Self complete. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, perfect. gun we're done playing hide and seek nowhere to run you're dead come on well, lots of tables and stuff for me to use as weapons so that's good more. Yeah, I don't think 
so buddy. Nah. Nah. Whoosh. <laughs> Kaito looks so cool there. Yeah, that was a good workout for sure. Lots of guys. I ate up way more time than I would have liked. The stairs to the roof are just over there. But I saw a little health item. We'll just eat some sandwiches. Ooh, when did I get a stamina and spark? High-tech shin guards. Oh, the stiff boxers are deep defense plus 10% and reduces agony by 5%. Shit. Attack plus three and defense plus three. Here's our save point. This is where we will stop for tonight. Since we probably won't get another chance to do so. For a while or at all before this ends. Unfortunately. Right when it's getting crazy good. You won't be able to return to town, so you, want my, you might want to make a backup save. All right. All right. Sucks that we couldn't finish this up, but it sounds like it's going to be like another hour at least, right? So what's like a, sh a quick way I could give a recap? Kaito is in love with this woman from his past. We thought she was dead, but she's alive. And her husband is a very, very bad man. And she just figured that out. And she's come back with a vengeance to get vengeance <laughs> on him for basically ruining her life for killing her family her her foster parents and her sister and manipulating her into marrying him so that he could get all her money and so that he could get the property and everything so kaito is about to go there she's probably up there trying to kill him and kaito's gonna go up there and we're gonna we're gonna kick some ass and hopefully stop her from killing him so that she doesn't get her her hands dirtied and become a murderer. Sound good? Come back with revengeance. Cue the Metal Gear Rising soundtrack. Okay. Um where where do I go? <laughs> oh I guess I should follow the arrow. Okay, let's do it. Up to the roof. Sadamoto and Mikiko should be up ahead. Am I ready to do this? Are we ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Okay. Ready! Mikiko! Stay back! Come near and I shoot!
Come now, Mikiko. You would really shoot your husband? That's the only reason I'm here. Mm-hmm. Very well. Then perhaps let's settle down and talk this through. Talk? What is there to talk about? Well, try putting this all into perspective. Are you sure you want to kill me? Can you kill me? Oh, I've got an answer to that. <laughs> but what about our son? What would June think? Would he condone his mother's actions as a killer? Have you even considered the thought? <sighs> of course you have. Compassion comes naturally to you. And guilt's enough to freeze you in your tracks. After all, that's what gives this woman her charm. Wouldn't you agree, Kaito-san? Sinister fuck! Unfortunately, nice people don't make money. Business opportunities are all around us. Most fail to seize them, let alone comprehend they're there. What a gross mindset. Why? It's simple. They're inefficient at drawing wealth to themselves quickly and competently. Instead, they sate themselves on worldly affairs and superficial relationships. They're worthless. So, you cut down your old pals and burn her family alive. They meant nothing to you. Precisely. You catch on quick. I like your potential. Now I'll admit the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice. But the results really spoke for themselves. It was a brilliant idea, if I do say yeah, so brilliant. myself. Yeah, brilliant. That's why you're staring down the the barrel of a gun, right? Julia! Worked out real well for you, huh? You think you'll get away with killing my parents? My sister? You're dying right here, right now! How curious. You actually seem like you mean it. Well, at least you came prepared. Glad I took the steps to confirm that. How the hell is he so calm when he's staring down the barrel? Oh no! Damn it! Let me go! It's Dude. the son we never had! A tad late, Kenmochi. Uh, my bad, Kyo-chan. I thought you felt guilty, Kenmochi, of what you did. Ugh. Oh, come on. Damn you, Sadamoto! It's just a kid. Settle down. You move and June dies. Understand? <laughs> Can't move, can you? He takes after me, that's for sure. Never know when he'll catch his old man off guard. Seems I was right to discipline him the way I did. Asshole. That's your own son right there! Now then, Mikiko. The real party's about to begin. How can you do that to your what? own child? First, let's dispose of any unnecessary baggage. Shoot Kaito, and I will release June. Ha! <laughs> no. What the <laughs> hell? Fuck. This is bad. June completely freezes up when this happens. Oh, yeah. The knife thing! Think, Kaito. There's gotta be a way out of this. Uh. Um. I don't know. Oh, reassure June. Oh, gosh. Reassure June. Persuade Kenmochi. Persuade Sadamoto. Reassure Mikiko. Oh. Kenmochi, he, like I said, he feels guilty for killing her family. And now he, by cooperating with Sadamoto, he's, he's continuing to like bring this, this woman harm that didn't do anything to anybody. I'm gonna go with this. Persuade Kenmochi, there's gotta be some good in there. Hang on. Kenmochi still thinks Mikiko killed those Crimson, Crimson Lotus guys, doesn't he? I could try telling the truth and see if that changes his mind. Oh yeah, Sadamoto killed this guy's 
Crimson Lotus Bros. But would he believe Kaito if Kaito told him that? Hey, Kenmochi. You still think Mikiko was the one taking down Crimson Lotus? Of course I do. The hell are you talking to me for? Because there's something you might want to know. Each time Mikiko went to take out your buddies, someone else had gone and done them in first. They were dead by the time she got there. Get out of here! With her memories back, and a plan to kill Crimson Lotus, Mikiko became a huge threat. Enough to scare the killer into action. And by killing his old pals, he could erase his dark ties and pin the crime on Mikiko in one fell swoop. The fuck are you yapping on about? Still don't get it? It's the guy standing next to you. Your legendary guru is a traitor. What? Hmm. I hear Sadamoto's been making the rounds on the media lately. Earned himself a reputation as a CEO in demand. It's why he can't afford having his connections to you guys surface. And on top of that, he needed to act fast to keep Mikiko from ever reaching out to you guys. What are you saying? Mikiko knows some dark shit about her husband's past. And Sadamoto didn't want you spotting any discrepancies between her truth and what he fed you. Had that happened, you probably would have gone after him yourself, Kenmochi. The, okay, so our choice is, oh, what's the discrepancy between what Mikiko and Kenmochi know? So what does she know that he doesn't? Sadamoto had dark ties to Crimson Lotus. The Natsume arson was no accident. Sadamoto killed the Crimson Lotus founders. This one, right? Sadamoto killed the Crimson Lotus founders. Fact is, Sadamoto was the one taking out Crimson Lotus, not Mikiko. Huh? But you said that already, didn't you? Uh, right, but that's oh. not the point. There's a reason why Sadamoto started killing everyone now. Let After me try finding again. Out his wife might still be alive. He realized he'd be in deep shit if she got in touch with you first. If that happened, there's a chance you'd learn conflicting facts about the Natsume family arson. Well, what's the goddamn conflict? Um, the Natsume ar arson was no accident? I can't really remember what we, what was revealed to us about the arson. But it was probably something like they sent Kenmochi. He, Kenmochi was sent to do a certain job, but then the fire happened, and he thought it was an accident, but actually Sadamoto did it. Something like that, right? You remember? Yeah. Am I right? Something like that. So he blamed himself for causing the fire, but it was really Sadamoto. Oh, he thought the house was supposed to be empty. That's right. That's right. You said it was an accident that Maho-chan and her parents were burned alive. Nobody was supposed to be home, right? Well, yeah. I was told they were on vacation place was supposed to be empty. Let me guess. Sadamoto gave the order. Told you nobody get hurt. So what? What are you getting at? Your guru made it loud and clear before you showed up. He said, the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice, but the results really spoke for themselves. He knew Maho-chan and her parents were home that night. And he still had you burn the place down. No. Since you guys were just after the property, you had no reason to burn anyone to death. Even a hardened criminal might flinch at such an order. But Sadamoto's no ordinary thug. He wanted the Natsume's fortune for himself. And 
for his company to survive. He needed them to die. That's why he lied to you. After fixing up his own alibi. Bullshit. He's lying. Right, Joe chan Huh. <laughs> You've hit quite the sore spot. Sadamoto. You only had me find Mikiko. So you could get to her before Crimson Lotus. But when I found her, you planned to lock her up and wipe out Crimson Lotus yourself. Then you could wait for the perfect time to finish her off and make it look like suicide. Sound about right? <laughs> I knew I liked your potential. Shuchan! What's this guy saying? It's all lies, right? The night of the arson was Maho Chan's birthday. <sighs> the Natsumes and Maho Chan were big on wine, so I sent them a vintage Bordeaux to celebrate. After all, what's a million yen between friends? Cho Chan! Meanwhile, I was enjoying dinner at a restaurant with my lovely wife. From there, I gave Maho-chan a call and wished her a happy birthday. She told me the wine was delicious. Even the Natsumes, who were notorious wine snobs, enjoyed it. I was worried my secret ingredient, sleeping pills, had altered the taste. But to my relief, it all turned out fine in the end. This is just what? demented. If it's any consolation, the Natsumes were dead asleep. I'm sure they went out painlessly. Yoya! How could you? Hey! Yo chan This is just one of your jokes, right? It's not a joke! Punch mm. him already! Get the kid out of there! Any moment now. Delayed, I suppose. Who's delayed? What's that bastard waiting for? Dude, this is so fucked up. On her birthday, and and he the Maho's sister, Mikiko, is right there in front of him and he's like, oh, happy birthday. Hope you guys enjoyed the wine. While well, she's sitting right in front of him at the other side of the table. Like, what the fuck? more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Big relief. Shoot shot! This is bad! The whole party's... What? Oh, no. Not blue hair, guy! It appears to be taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me. What the hell did you do? Well... <laughs> I imagine this will go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? <laughs> Aren't I thoughtful? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, now we get to, now we gotta watch it? Jesus. What did he put in there? What would cause that? God. So fucked. Excellent. I've just killed the final four members. A resounding success. You piece of shit. 
You poison their drinks? Yes, I use the slow-acting stuff. A quicker poison wouldn't do for taking out a large group at once. Anyone who gets a drink later on would find out it's poisoned and refuse to touch it. Even so, I was starting to worry I'd miscalculated, since the effects took so long to show. Terribly sorry, Kenmochi. I'll hold a grand funeral for you, so try to rest in peace, okay? You even targeted innocent people! <laughs> I wouldn't say I targeted them. There was a designated table for everyone in Crimson Lotus. I can't help it if some non-members stopped by for a drink. Ah, uh, he doesn't so even at care! That point, I would say it's on them. Besides, wouldn't it make more sense for a vengeful, hate-fueled killer to pile on a few extra casualties? The public is much more liable to eat up a dramatic story, after all. You're out of your goddamn mind! And now, Mikiko, the curtain rises on you. The time has come to kill Kaito. Do it, and I'll spare you and the boy. Why in the hell would I listen to you? Ah, right. Perhaps this scenario merits a bit of explanation. Just shoot him As while he's for talking. Tonight, I'm technically not supposed to be here. Well, I was supposed to make a surprise appearance, but only a few people know. Anyway, I left your hair and fingerprints in the kitchen, where the poison was prepared. And on the rooftop, your ex-lover's bullet-riddled corpse will be found. That be you, Kaito-san. On top of that, I've arranged it so a news leak will soon reveal Crimson Lotus as the masterminds behind the Natsume Arsene. As the story goes, you took the lives of each one out of vengeance. This Can we party fight was this guy already? I'm gonna stragglers. kick his ass. And when your old boyfriend caught wind of the whole affair, you gunned him down too. That is what the cops and the media will learn. It was you all along, my dear. <sighs> but Fuck I no. won't just leave you to try. Kill Kaito and I'll throw in a hundred million yen. You could use that to flee overseas with June and live a comfortable life. Though, I imagine that wouldn't appeal to you. How could you murder an innocent man? So, once Kaito's dead on the ground, I suggest you kill yourself as well. The hell? If you go through with it, I'll even add another hundred million for June. <laughs> At least I'm offering child support, more than a lot of fathers do. Yeah, like, we can trust you to, after, sh if she were to even do that, trust you to even keep now June alive, shoot him. no? You were itching to kill someone, weren't you? Take too long and June will be the one to die. <gasps> I really was the devil after all. I was naive. I'm so sorry. I dragged you into this mess. <laughs> well, guess I better prep for the worst. Mikiko. It's okay. I'm here. Huh? Well, this changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. What are you playing at? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirtbag husband commits mass murder then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. Just stay out of this. You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <clears throat> can't imagine I'll miss at this range.
You say that, but how else am I gonna get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. Don't do anything crazy, you June. Get strong, June. Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart, and it'll all make sense one day. More not, he's where does he keep How all these knives? One guy have. Oh goodness! And just when I thought I had you. Okay. Two, okay, everyone's still alive so far. You two go. <sighs> I'd love to play some more, but time is running short. I'll have you bleeding out by the time the cops arrive. God, I, mm, I cannot believe the, the quick span of time that this game has gotten me to hate this character so much. I don't think I've ever been so angry and disgusted by an RGG, like, Maybe I just forgotten over time, but I I don't know if I've I've hated anybody as much as him and been so repulsed by his actions and his Jeez. Okay. Oh, oh boy. He's got a knife and he's got a stun gun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And I'm bleeding. Okay, hold on. Let's, let me, uh, let me check some things here. Okay, so I think I had something with for bleeding. Uh, reduces bleeding by 10%. I think we should have this. stuff is like taunting and use it while while your health is low oh i never got knife counter dang it <laughs> that would have been really useful here well there's not really too much that i can actually get so that sucks What is 
the status effect I still have? What is this move? Can I actually hit him with it though? Or is it just gonna... Oh, he's probably like... Carrying me or something. Gonna die. What's the matter? Good. Uh, Mom? Uh, wait. Everything was a lie. Everything you've ever said. 
to me was bullshit. Her marriage was bullshit. I guess you got what you wanted. To think I lived under the same roof with the monster who killed my family. My only sister! How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! Nikki, go. Don't do it. I should have ended this a whole lot sooner. Mikiko. Let her do it. He deserves it. I'm sorry. You do that. You'll regret it. You'll be losing something precious. <laughs> Fuck this when guy. We split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then I went down the path of vengeance for the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You're gonna get yourself locked up? Now she doesn't get caught. Kenmochi? Oh, it's watching. I'm sorry. Oh, he's gonna do it. I'm so sorry. God damn you. It's all your fault! <laughs> Why, huh? Why'd you do it, Jochan? Why? Oh, jeez. Oh, my Why? God. your butt hey kaito anaki <sighs> don't push yourself too hard yet you came in here pretty Thanks. banged up i need a little higashi after that well, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you thank you where's mikiko is she okay yeah mom was looking after you the entire time she nearly passed out on her feet when she said she was feeling lightheaded, Shirakaba-san took her to get some rest. You didn't want to go with your mom? Nah. 
I'm cool right here. And Yagashi-san's been keeping me company, too. Ah, oh, well, I had time to kill, so... And... Sanamoto? Uh... He, uh... didn't make it. <laughs> he didn't. Obviously not! <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh, those are from Yagami. He's back from his business trip. He came by earlier, but saw you were out like a rock. That put him at ease, so he left this and went home. <laughs> nice touch. <sighs> Easy now, Anaki. It's no problem. No problem, huh? You're practically split at the seams. I think I'll hold together just fine. Uh-huh. Just try to stay out of trouble, okay? June. You free to talk? Oh, uh, sure. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. You know, my old man wasn't the greatest either. In fact, he was a nasty drunk. Yeah? Yep. He barely worked, used up our money on booze, and every swig he took meant a swing at his family. I couldn't live in a home like that. So, I ran away. Then, I got kicked out of school, and after doing some more dumb shit, I ended up in juvie. After that, it was clear what kind of life I had coming. Huh. No kidding. Growing up, I wish the old bastard would just drop dead. Deep down, I took out all my problems on him. He was why my life turned out fucked up. But in reality, those fuck-ups were mine alone. Huh. Sure. My pops was a no-good loser who destroyed himself with alcohol. But when I got word he died... For some reason, all I could think of were the few good times we had. Huh? <laughs> Stupid, right? Why? After hating his guts my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. I know this ain't making it easier. Actually, there was this one time my dad took me out for a drive. Thinking back, maybe he just felt like cruising around in his brand new car. But he asked me if there was anywhere I wanted to go. And then he took me far away. Just so I could see the ocean. <laughs> June. June. Take it slow. Baby boy. Okay. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine now. <clears throat> For real. You sure? How could anybody be fine after what he went through? <laughs> Man, he's really trying to tough this out. You know what, Kaito? I've been thinking. I never really wanted to be a Yakuza. It was something different all along. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Not a detective. <sighs> I want to be the kind of guy you can depend on. Someone who's strong. Someone like you, man. So don't worry. As much as it hurts, I'll be okay. The voice acting always gets me. God. 
June. I know it's tough. I can take it. And besides, I'm not a kid anymore. I don't think anybody could still be of a childhood after after all that. <sighs> what are you gonna do now? Go see your mom at Shirakaba-san's place? Yeah, someone's gotta go pick her up. Oh, speaking of, Shirakaba-san asked me to give you a letter when you woke up. A letter? For what? You know. What is it? Kaito-san. As I've mentioned before, I intend to propose to Mikiko-san. I won't do it right away. She and her son need time to process. But I will say this. If you still have any feelings for Mikiko-san, I suggest you pay me a visit. Yasutaka Shirakaba. What a guy. <laughs> so, what's it say? Hmm. I think it's a challenge. And that means what exactly? Actually, June, I'll come see Mikiko with you. You sure? I can get there myself just fine. Trust me, I know. Huh. Okay then. Okay. Shirakaba challenged me to a freaking duel. I guess we're setting the, settling this once and for all. Dude, I gotta give props to Shirakaba for... I don't know. Um, I'll head over to his place whenever I'm ready. I gotta give him props, though, for his guts, you know? He's got some guts! I mean, in a way, Shirakaba's got the most guts out of everybody here <laughs> in one small little way because he's just like we going? i know i am way out of her league i know there's like probably not hardly any chance but i love this woman and i'm gonna go for it and if i get rejected fine but i'm not gonna live with the regret of um of not not giving it yes, my say. not shooting my shot hey you coming or not huh uh, oh yeah June and Masahoro-san? Hey, uh... I told him I could get here myself, but nope, he insisted on tagging along. Did you? Well, thanks for seeing him off. Uh, don't mention it. I, uh, wanted to see you too. Oh, really? So, we're finally getting to sit and talk. We sure are. Were you... Okay? Well, I mean, maybe that's a weird thing to ask someone who had amnesia. <laughs> maybe a little. I'm very happy for you, June. You got to go on an adventure with your hero. Oh, uh, guess so. You've gotten so strong since I last saw you. Remember how you arm locked that one jerk into submission? Yeah. I'm lucky to have learned that from my mom. So, Mikiko, what's your next move? What do you mean? Well, I was wondering about your living situation. I figure it's tough staying in that house after everything. Yeah, you got that right. What am I gonna do? I haven't given it much thought yet, but... But... Yeah, so... Shirakaba-san mentioned he'd take June and me on vacation. Just the three of us. Vacation? Uh, where to? 
He said, anywhere in the world, anywhere at all, for as long as you like. <laughs> I'm sure he was just kidding. He wasn't kidding. Oh. Okay, then. Kaito. Uh, I don't think he was joking. That dude's a doctor. He looks pretty loaded. <laughs> Unlike Mr. X Yakuza here. Watch it, kid. Uh, Mikiko-san, why don't we head inside and watch a movie? <sighs> I read your letter. So then, what are you here to do? What am I... well... <sighs> Mikiko-san, wait right there, please. I wonder if this is... I... Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if Shirakawa was doing this just for their I've sake. I've been saving something like... for you. Oh, God. Huh? Migiko-san. Just Who kidding. Are you... Hold it! I object! What is it? You know uh, what it is! You called well... him here! I'm so confused. You told him to come. Shirakaba's not the worst guy, and he's got money unlike me, but still. What do I do about Mikiko? I don't know what I want. I want to take Mikiko home. Dude, you gotta shoot your shot! Actually, I'm here to take Mikiko home. Take her home? Where? To your dirty little hovel of an apartment? Yeah, if that's okay with her. And my apartment's tidy as hell, as a matter of fact. I clean up every now and then. <laughs> Kaito-san, I understand what you're feeling. But this is the one thing I can't give up on, no matter what you say. I hear you. Let's talk this out. Oh, we won't be doing any talking. Huh? Then what are we doing? Settling this like the men of old. With our fists! What the hell is this? What? Oh, come on. You trying to have a duel in this day and age? What about how Mikiko feels? Yeah. This fight is for my feelings, Kaito-san. I told you from the beginning I was giving this my all, didn't I? Man... Mikiko-san will never share her heart with me. I've already accepted that. Then why? However... If I can best you, the one she sees as her hero... Then perhaps... There's a chance she'll acknowledge me. So please... This guy is weird as hell. Give me this, Kaito-san! When you put it that way... Fine. But don't blame me if you get hurt. You needn't worry about that. I'm not sure how I feel about all this. It seems kind of silly and unnecessary, but I'll let it play out. God damn! When the hell do you get so beefy? <laughs> what? After those thugs came, I vowed to do whatever it takes to get stronger. To build myself into a new person. One who would never let harm come to Mikiko-san. So those were his weights. Okay. So these past two years, I've made the gym my second home. And on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. All right, then. You made your point. Guess we're throwing down. Let's do this. 
Shirakawa. Come! Kaito-san! Kaito, he, he never got a tattoo? This is weird. Wait, none of us have tattoos. This music... We're, we're in this beautiful, the br the wind is blowing, there's a breeze, it's like, what? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two men! For the love of their life, two hearts colliding.
is hurting me. It's hurting me bad. I need my corned beef hash. All oh, my Ichiban rice crackers will give me strength. Oh God. Seems you've had enough. We squared up now? Yeah. Now it's out of my system. Thank you. <sighs> Why do men have to be so primitive? I don't, I don't really get it so either. So then, <laughs> where do we go from here? Uh... Didn't you say you were taking me back home? Yes, I did. <clears throat> so what? To the victor go the spoils? Like, was she gonna pick Kaito anyways, uh, or? Yeah. Where to start? What? I said my place was clean and all. Sorry. That was a big lie. Even on a good day, it's about as clean as a farmhouse. And the bathroom's moldy. Yeah? And I'm flat broke. Seriously? Being a detective doesn't always pay the bills. Pretty often, I'll be months behind rent. Sometimes I can't even afford dinner. Well, you're gonna have to fix that, aren't you? I'll try. Will you still join me? Gladly. Yay! Is this how- is it gonna end like that? Do we really get a happy ending? No way! What? What? Ah, oh, 
Ah, shit. Ah. Well, I thought... Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so that was great. <laughs> that was so good. That was like, do not skip this DLC level of greatness. Story is so good. The voice acting is so good. June, so adorable. Mikiko, so badass. That was such an impactful story that we got to experience in such a small amount of time very condensed amount of time compared to other rgg games of course the mainline games um being much longer this being a dlc it was short and sweet and to the point and it was very effective Kaito made a great protagonist we met some really awesome new characters june was one of my favorites Mikiko is amazing too. And the villain for this DLC, Sakamoto. I went from feeling sorry for him at the beginning, looking for his wife, to being a little bit leery about him when some of the weird stuff that he kind of did, like the knife deal with June and all that stuff, started coming to surface. And then hating him when I found out what he did to Mikiko's family and then absolutely despising him when I learned as more details came to surface and as he committed atrocity after atrocity just killing so many people even innocent people the poison just no remorse ah <sighs> It was kind of a nice change from Kuana because Kuana is like somebody you can really sympathize with. He's trying to be good, but he's doing bad deeds to do it. And you can almost kind of be on his side with some of the things that he's doing, or at least you want to be because all the injustice and anyways, Kuana is another story, but this guy's like the opposite. He is just evil like i can't find any redeeming qualities i can't see any reason to sympathize with him to think that he might be misunderstood or that he's just misled he's just evil i don't think i've ever been so disgusted appalled despising any villain from rgg i mean who who else has been this bad I just really hated him. The ending where we fought the doctor was a little bit strange, but we had a happy ending and I was really surprised about that. I did not think that we were going to get the hope of a happy ending. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen from here, but it looks it looks pretty promising with Kaito, Mikiko and Jun becoming a family. I please, I really want that to happen. I need a third judgment game and I need to see them continue this. Like, please don't make it so they ended up going to America or moving across the country or they Kai, Kaito and Mikiko going their separate ways. No, like, give me, give me this. I want Kaito to be a father to June. June is so adorable. I love June so much. June could be protagonist of a RGG game. He's so sweet. I would adopt him if I could, but I don't want kids, so. But if I wanted kids, I would adopt him. Anyways, the Kaito Files. I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of the Kaito Files. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to be doing more RGG games, so you're going to want to stick around if you want to see any more of this. If you want to see the man who erased his name, like a dragon, infinite wealth, and all the other stuff that's going to come after it, because you know there's going to be more and it's going to be good. All right, guys, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.